Okay, now we're going to continue along. Um, so we're creating, um, from the reader class, we're going to create an object. So we're, we're taking that rubber stamp, putting it in the ink pad, and slamming it down on the paper, and creating our own little house with its little functions. And we do that uh, by continuing this format where we've created a variable. We take the reader class, then you create a variable name. Make sure it's not one of the uh, reserved names, uh, class names, or like uh, like uh, new or other uh, reserved words. Your variable. I usually stick my in front of the variable, um, and you call whatever my whatever my blah blah blah, um, just so it doesn't you know match in, um, a class name that's already being used, and you know give me a compiler error, or syntax error, or whatever it gives. Um, so you get your variable name, and then you hit a uh, equals, then the new word. Then you see as you know, auto completes prompting you, you know, helping you with the format. As a beginner, this is great because you know it's basically you know showing you the way, showing hey, this is the format you use for creating an object. You want me to finish it for you, so use it you know as much as you can. Saves typing too, and then parentheses at the end and a comma. So we've just created a new object, slam this rubber stamp on the paper, a new my reader object from the reader class. This has created us a new house with all our little functions, which we can now use um, because we've created an object. Okay, so the next line is going to be a conditional statement, uh, an if statement, and basically I'm going to go to, I'm going to use this object, my reader object I just created. I'm going to use it right now. So I'm going to use my reader. See it pop up and autocomplete. So we know we created here and it's confirming it, confirming it by you know showing up in auto complete um, so we know we're on the right track double click it my reader okay now this is the important part is using the dot operator when you use the period you access all those rooms inside your house and when you use that period you say you want to access the garage you want to fix your car so you want to use a function uh, to fix my car my alternator is you know not uh, not working properly so I'm going to go to the alternator fixing uh, function or method uh, and, and in my little house inside the garage and I do that by using the period and autocomplete gives me a list of all the um, uh, available functions and attributes uh, uh, for the uh, in that class that I can use um, so you know this brings this brings me to the object browser tab up here uh, this is another way of once we added that uh, DLL file over here in Solution Explorer the reference to that F4 shared mem DLL library with all those classes once we did that it allows us to use our object browser uh, tab and uh, go to our you know our F4 shared memory uh, class and it gives us a list you know just by uh, clicking on the little triangles here um, and then you can click on each one of these and it gives you the formats and uh, basically uh, what types of rooms are available in that class. Now we want to use the chaff count in uh, Falcon 4. We want to read how many chaff are left in our little fighter aircraft as it you know pops out chaff. Uh, when we press on the start button we want to read how many chaff are left and then display that on our text box. And by looking in here in our object browser, we know, hey, look, this class um, under the F4 shared memory class, this is another class inside. You can nest them inside a flight data class. It has all these little rooms, these little uh, methods inside it. And one of them is the chaff count. Um, and um, so, you know, it's listed. We can use it. It's going to, you know, a, little contain it's a whole little container, a little variable that's going to, you know, contain the chaff count in the program. And... Uh, in C sharp, you have um, a strongly called a strongly typed language. Basically, it means that when your variable, each variable, you have to tell uh, the program what it is. You have to tell: is it an integer? Is it a string? In other words, a word? Is it a, a float, which is you know basically a, a real number? Um, and uh, and so you look in here, and you'll see your variable. Each one will have a different. Um, these are all floats here there's an integer so if you're going to use this auxiliary channel to find out what uh, channel the you know the comms radio was on um, you would have to use your variable would have to be typed as an integer you would have to reference it I'll, I'll show you in a second uh, but you would have to use an integer in your variable 
but because we're using chaff count and it's a float, we have to remember that it's going to be a float variable. But like I was saying, uh, we know this is available to us. So we go back to our, uh, you know, our programming here, and I said if my reader, and I use the, the period, the dot, uh, to access all these, um, all these attributes and methods, and we have the one we're going to use is, is Falcon running. I'll double click on that, and basically what I'm doing is I'm saying I'm asking, okay, go and find out if Falcon the simulator is running, and if it is running, then we're going to execute this code below it. and I'm going to use the flight data class basically I'm going to use this little object I already created just up here okay and um, well actually I'm going to create another uh, another object using the flight data class and using that format, the flight data class, then the, a variable. I'm going to call this my shared mem. Equals and the new word because I'm creating another object here from the flight data class. Actually. I'm going to do, I'm not going to use that format, I'm going to use, what I'm going to do is I am going to create an object here, we're going to do it a little bit differently, um, I'm going to use uh, the uh, my reader class that I've already created, a correction my reader object, <coughs> that I already created up here, my reader, and then once again I'm going to use the dot operator to access the attributes and are the the methods that are available to me and what I want to do is um, get the current data okay and uh, <laughs> it's a problem with beginners teaching beginners um, I've gotten a little confused here, but basically I've created another object of the flight data class, and then I'm I'm using I'm not using the standard format of creating the uh, the object instead, of, because I've already got an object, uh, my reader a reader object, but called my reader. I'm going to reference it inside this new object I'm creating from the flight data class, and I can do that. It's a little more advanced, uh, you know, um, level, and that's why I'm having problems with it myself. But basically, um, I'm referencing the, this object that I created up here uh, to get all the current data from the flight sim. So you go to, like, if you go to the object browser, um, you'll see we get the different classes, the flight data class we're creating, and uh, you know, we're using that right now on this line and creating an object of that. And then because we've already created another object from the reader class, and you see here I've got reader highlighted, so these are the ones available under the reader class. And it has uh, get current data as one of the methods inside there. We're using that. So we're kind of creating a flight data object and referencing uh, information from the reader class we already, you know, already created. And we're kind of doing it all at once creating a, you know, another new object from another class and referencing another object we've already created. It's probably a little confusing for you. It's confusing for me. Um, okay, um, so up to this point, uh, our next line, basically, up to this point we've created, um, you know, a class to access the flight simulator. We haven't created the class. We're using the class, and uh, we've created two objects, and we've used two different classes. You know, we've used the uh, um, the reader class and the flight data class, and created the 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 uh, my reader object, and now we've created a my shared memory object, and um, and then our okay, so um, it's gonna basically at this point we're going we're gonna go the program will go into uh, check to see if uh, Falcon 4 is running, and if it is running, it'll go in there and extract uh, all the data um, 
from the uh, flight sim about the jet, not just the chaff count, but all the other data, you know, how high it's going, how fast it's going, whatever. But we don't want to use that stuff. We're just going to use the chaff count. But it is, uh, it is extracting that, and it, it is available to you in your program. All right. And that's a good point to leave it off. Uh, just run out of time again. I'll pick it up right from here. And uh, basically next we'll be... Um, uh, creating another, uh, um, actually using creating a, a variable, uh, and then um, dumping our data that we've extracted about the chaff count into it, and then uh, using that to uh, dump it into the text box. Uh, see ya.